guys, so I have my summer collection here. This is the last part, and I know this angle might be like kind of weird and not as ideal, but I don't have any more room on my candle shelf, so they've just been collecting here. So, yeah, we have a bit of a candle problem, but I'll just go through these and I hope the lighting and everything is okay and that you don't mind. But I'll start off with one of the classic summer scents, Tiki Beach, which I'm actively trying to use this one up. I'm almost there and I'm sad because I won't have Tiki Beach any longer in my collection, but I'm not sad because I will just replace it almost immediately. <laughs> There's such pretty packagings of Tiki Beach out right now. So, love this one. Recommend this one. It's a nice floral coconut. You just, you gotta have it. Then I have Banana Cabana, which is, as it suggests, a banana scent. And I haven't really burned this one much because banana can be too much for me. But I have a gorgeous gold holder that I put on display with this candle. And it just kind of serves as a decoration purpose at this point. Then we have this guy, which is a core scent, but I kind of actually should have this in my spring part because when I think of lemon, I think of fresh and I think of spring. So I'm actually gonna move this into my spring part of my collection, but yeah, she's pretty. <laughs> then we have Berry Waffle Cone, which I dislike, but this was an MOS and the packaging is really cute. And maybe I could find someone to give this to, but I, I want to like it. I feel like I have to try to burn it, and if I don't like it, I can just give it to someone who will enjoy it, and they won't care if it's burned. But I'm trying to manifest that, because everyone's so hyped about the home fragrance for that one. So I kind of wanted to jump on that train, but the body care was a different story. We did not like that one, and I talked about that in my summer release video. <laughs> and then we have Pineapple Mango. I will forever love this one. I could burn a million of these. We'll never get sick of it. And I actually got this one for like seven or six bucks because it was 75% off. And then we have Coastal Watermelon, which, wow, that's dusty. We're going to ignore that. <laughs> um, this one came back as an online exclusive, which kind of made me sad because I don't want to have to pay shipping to get it. But I really want a backup of it and I haven't burned it just because it's so unique. It's juicy watermelon, a pinch of pink sea salt, and ocean waves. It just gives me like watermelon rind kind of vibes. I don't know. This one's just really great. And if you like fresh and watermelon, I would definitely recommend trying out that online exclusive. And then we have Endless Weekend, which was the first summer candle I ever fell in love with. I just, I love it so much. The notes are fresh summer mandarin, sun-kissed magnolia, and blue coconut water. It's just so warm and cozy and I don't know. I just absolutely love this one so much. Then moving on to another watermelon scent. I have pink watermelon here, which this is literally a Sour Patch watermelon candy stuck into a candle. Very, very sweet. And then we have a classic Island Margarita. So good, so fruity, always comes around. I love it in hand soap as well. Mango Mai Tai, oh, I have mixed feelings about you. <laughs> I love mango, but this candle, the throw is like non-existent. I, I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know if it was just this batch but I haven't tried it since this year. Um, this year that I got this one was 2018, so I haven't purchased it since then because of this sad throw. So let me know if any of you guys had better luck with Mango Mai Tai. And then we have the classic Watermelon Lemonade, which this one could also be for spring, spring or summer. It's just, it's perfect. Everybody loves it. It's a classic. Okay, I just wanted to push those back, and those are some spring ones that we already talked about. And then there's some, like, spring ones, like Easter ones in the back here, which I already moved over when we talked about spring. So if you haven't seen those, go to the last video, and I go over those. But then we have Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, which is so cute. I feel like the packaging game was so strong, whatever, like, 2018, 2019. They came out with such pretty things, but that one is phenomenal, and... Highly recommend. 
Then we have Pink Apple Punch, which is a super, super tart apple. I, I just want to say it for everyone. I, I love them all. <laughs> then we have Flamingo Beach, which this packaging, it does not get better than this. I love the sunset. And this is a nice berry fragrance. Then we have Boathouse Row, which I got during an MOS. It's very unique. I don't really know how to explain it. So it has, wow, this little excerpt here. Um, it says, originally launched in 2013. Enjoy a BBW favorite with a blend of green sage, fresh pomegranate, and bay leaves and moss. But yeah, the earthy tones definitely overpower for that one. Then I have Blue Orchard Skies, which I totally forgot I had. Oh my gosh, I love this one. It's the apple, I'm telling you. Pink Lady Apple, Soft White Woods, Fresh Orchard Air. It implies exactly what you would think. It smells like an apple orchard. Then I have Caribbean Escape, which is really nostalgic for me. I loved this one a really long time ago. And then we already talked about those rose water ones back there. But yeah, Caribbean Escape has always been super nostalgic. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because it came out quite a while ago or what but whenever they brought it back I was so excited about it so then we're gonna move on to some newer here bubbly rosé which I did review on my IGTV so you can check that out and then I do own this strawberry pound cake it's the only one I own and I haven't burned it I think I got it because I was falling into the hype of it and I do prefer the body care over this. I think this would just be too much for me and it would give me a headache if I'm going to be honest. And then we have Fiji White Sands. Beautiful. Love this packaging so much. Look at that wax too. I forgot it was pink. Just I'm just enjoying the smell, don't mind me. But yeah, love this. It's like that soft musky coconut. And then we have Mahogany Coconut, which... I always say this is like the toned down version of mahogany teakwood and that's why I like it. The coconut really cuts that strong mahogany. Then we have fresh orange, which I've burned a decent amount of and the throw was not great on this one so I kind of have just forgotten about it to be honest. Then we have cherry snow cone, which very different. It smells exactly like a snow cone somehow. This one has notes of sweet cherry syrup, vanilla shaved ice, and a hint of lime. So that one's really unique and it launched with this Endless Weekend, as you can see. So then let me reach way back here. We have Suntan, AKA the Perfect Summer, sunscreen, straight up sunscreen. I love this for the really sunny days when I'm like laying out um, on my deck and then I can burn suntan inside the house and it's so strong that it seeps out all the way outside. <laughs> it's a great, really strong one. And then we have Tahitian coconut, which this never really got its moment. It's really good. It has notes of fresh coconut, cooling sea spray, and tonka bean. But yeah, we've only seen this once and it's absolutely fabulous and I forgot I had it and now I might have to burn that one soon. Then we have pineapple colada. Love it. It's a good tart pineapple. Has notes of frozen pineapple, fluffy whipped cream, fresh orange, and vanilla. But the pineapple definitely is like the strongest note. It's a very true tart pineapple. Okay, last batch. We have orange pineapple punch here, which I did review. I know I'm repeating that a lot, but it's just so you can like check them out in depth because these are out right now. And I'll tell you if it's worth buying or not, but it has tart orange juice, sweet pineapple, and vanilla sugar cane. Then we have Waikiki Beach Coconut, which is so strong. I had a little tiny baby tester candle like this. It was a really tiny one like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so strong. So I don't know if this is the same way because I haven't burned it yet. But yeah, she's she's a strong one. <laughs> and then I have passion fruit and banana flower, which I did review. This one has notes of passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. 
Then we go to really recent. We have Juicy Pink Grapefruit. Again, reviewed that. Hibiscus Waterfalls, which I did not like this one at all last year, but I am obsessed with it this year. I don't know if it changed at all or my nose changed, but it's a really clean floral. And then we have Island Daydream, which is super similar to Pineapple Mango. And I have burned this, as you saw. And I just prefer Pineapple Mango over that one at this point. Then we have Kiwi Star Fruit Cooler. Again, reviewed that. And I also reviewed these two the Firecracker Pop, and the gorgeous Blue Raspberry Snow Cone. She's so pretty, I love the tie-dye. So now we are totally done with my three wicks, aside from, I just thought of this, I have this weird one, this carrot nectarine, this was from MOS. It's this weird low profile one. It smells weird, I don't know why I have this, but it's hidden way up high. <laughs> And it just caught my eye, but let me know if you want to see like my single wick and my tester candles like I have a bunch of single wicks up there and then I have all these tester and mini candles So if you're interested in that, let me know and I could definitely go through those as well But I really want to go through my fragrance mist collection because it's huge So let me know if you're interested in seeing that as well But yeah, thanks for watching